Now, I don't know about you, but I enjoyed the sunshine at the weekend. Mm. However, a row has broken out over claims that Jersey is the warmest place in the British Isles. From Britain's warmest island, a few rays of sunshine. Jersey is making the claim in TV adverts, but just the very idea has got people on the Isles of Scilly hot under the collar, and both islands are now laying claim to the title of the warmest holiday location. I think uh, the sunniest time was yesterday, and I think, to be honest, it was the sunniest from, for April, because normally we have rain, <laughs> but it's the hottest I think we've ever had. Well, I am from Portugal. At the moment, it's 30 degrees there, so for me here, it's cold at the moment, really freezing. Very nice here. Very sunny, but London just beats it. I think that we're a lot warmer. We have our flowers are just as early, and look at it today. It's beautiful, warm, and lovely. Well, I'm not sure, really sure where they get all the facts from, but generally through the course of the summer, we can walk around in shorts from February right through till the end of September, October time. We grow flowers in the winter. Do flowers grow in the cold? No, flowers grow in the warm. I would say these islands are much prettier for one thing, and. Uh, <clears throat> people can always get out of the wind on Scilly if there is a wind because it's uh, not a very big island but it's uh, a very pleasant island and nearly always very warm. Well we both normally enjoy a bit of a heated debate don't we but it's yes. not a row we're going to get involved no. in but to answer all of our questions here's David <laughs> so what is the definitive answer then Wh which is warmer? It's complicated They're all these it's never so straightforward as one's warmer than the other let's start by having a look at first of all at what the figures are. First of all, we have two sources of data. One is the UK Met Office in Exeter, and the other is the forecasting office on the Channel Islands. They have their own Met Office on Jersey. Now, the advertisement uses the average nighttime temperature, so the minimum temperature, if you like, average through the year. And if you look at that on pure statistics, St Mary's is warmer than Jersey. But that's not the whole story. If you look at sunshine amounts, then, well, there's a difference there. Jersey gets 1,912 hours of sunshine throughout the year. St Mary's, 1,690. So, again, Jersey is perhaps the winner in this one. And then if you average the temp right th temperature right through the year, so this is nighttime temperatures and daytime temperatures averaged, there's a tiny difference. It's 0.2 of a difference. And in that respect, Jersey is the winner. So, if you want a simple answer from me, both are right, because based on what the, adver the advertisement used, which was the average minimum temperature, then St Mary's is the warmest, based on the other figures, Jersey is the warmest. You make up your mind. <laughs> anyway, let's look Clever. at the forecast for the next couple of days, because we've got a lot of fine weather. We've had a lovely end to the day.